Hey guys, so I'm just driving in the car and I thought I would vlog. Um, yeah, no reason. I just thought I would. I had a White Castle for lunch today and like I hate White Castle. Well, I thought I hated White Castle. I always talk smack about it. Um, but I was like right beside it and I was like, Maybe I should just try it one more time. I know I don't like like the, the hamburgers or cheeseburgers or whatever. So I got chicken rings and they were actually good. My mount like is something is wrong with it. So I have to keep adjusting it and it's like at a weird angle. But I'm going to vlog anyways. So I just had some errands to run today. I was gonna wait to like tell you guys this but I feel like you're my friends and I want to tell my friends because I'm so excited so anyways this is just like a life update um, I'll tell you what's been going on lately so okay to, okay so today is Friday if I didn't mention it it's 1230 um, so yeah here's what's been going on okay if you guys watch all my vlogs you might know that a couple months ago like in May I started a new job which was like a big deal because I've been at my other job for like five and a half years so I really like the job that I'm at and um, you know like I didn't have any complaints or anything like that but even before I put in an application for the job that I'm at now I had put in an application at um, an urgent care for like um, patient access specialist which basically is like doing registration but you know I don't have any qualifications for it or never worked in a hospital or customer service or anything like that so I never like got my hopes up but one of my friends works like does that and like you know she would always tell me about it so I put my application in like months ago so a couple weeks ago I got a phone call and I got an interview and of course like I was just gonna like even though I'm not unhappy with my job like I was gonna go to the interview and everything because I mean it's like a better paying job and stuff um so I went to the interview and I ended up getting the job you guys which is so crazy to me I just found out like maybe two or three days ago um, that I got the job so I don't start training or orientation until July 31st which is on a Monday um, that's just when the class starts but obviously I wanted to put my two weeks notice in at work which I feel really bad because I just started that job in May and I feel super bad to do that but the job is um three dollars more an hour like how could I not take a job that was three dollars more an hour you know what I'm saying and um the shift is crazy like I cannot believe that I even got this shift not even like you know like anyways so the shift is Monday through Friday 6 in the morning till 3 we have like an hour um, lunch break so I get 40 hours and the thing like with my job now okay I keep pausing this because I'm in the drive-thru and it's like kind of awkward but Maybe I should wait till I get all the way through here. Okay, sorry. So the thing about my job now is I work 10 hour shifts and um, I work 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. And then one week I work six days a week. Hopefully you guys can hear me. One day, okay, one week I work six days a week and the next week I only work one day. So I only get 70 hours total which I love like the one week that I'm off and I only work one day like that's amazing I love it but I only get 70 hours so not only is this job three dollars more an hour it is um it's 80 hours like I only get 70 hours now so I don't know I'm super excited it's like the biggest change like it's 
totally different than what I've done. I feel like you're definitely not going to be able to hear me, but hopefully you can. Um, but I'm excited, so please pray that everything goes okay. Okay, sorry, this video is all over the place, but it was like super loud in there, so I stopped it. But as I was saying, please pray for me that like I catch on easy, I do okay, you know, it's just like a big like change. And um, you know, I've worked I've worked first shift before, but then I got like used to like third shift, so just hope everything goes okay. Um I actually went today I had to be like at the HR building at nine o'clock this morning to do like paperwork and stuff and like get my picture taken for my badge and then after that I had to go to the hospital and like um, get a TB test and all that and I had to get my blood taken because we have to have proof that we've had chicken pox and I have had chicken pox but I don't like have any proof of it so they have to draw your blood well I've like never in my life been scared of getting my blood drawn this is kind of like a TMI gross story, so if you don't want to hear it, sorry. Um, so yeah, like I wasn't nervous or anything. Like, you know, I've never had a problem. I've even donated blood before. So the lady's like, do you have any problems when you donate blood, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, not at all. And so I sit down in the, in the chair and I was like, oh, this chair is like comfy. Like I'm fine, you know. And, like, I put my arm out, and she's, like, looking and looking for the vein. And she's, like, she's, like, you know, it's, like, your veins are just really deep. And, like, I just want to make sure that I find it before I do it. Um, you know, that way it's better for you. And I was, like, okay. And then she had somebody else come. And, like, she was, like, looking for it. And I swear, like, I don't know what happened. But all of a sudden, I was like, maybe I wasn't right about the queasy passing out thing. And she was like, are you okay? And I was like, no. Like, I started to get hot and, like, I, like, thought I was, like, going to pass out. I didn't know what to do. And I was, like, I was more shocked that I even felt this way because I'm not, like, one of those people that are, like, scared to get their blood drawn. So I was just, like, sitting there and... Like, she went and got, like, a, um, an ice thingy, like, actually one of these, because I had, like, more than one, like, a cold compress, and she put it on the back of my neck, which it felt really good, but, and then I was, like, I think I'm gonna throw up, and I'm the type of person, like, I hate, hate, hate throwing up, like, I will hold it in, let it be in my throat as long as I can, because I don't like throwing up, then a lot of times I throw up and, like, other stuff comes out like you know down there TMI I know um and I was like can I go to the bathroom and she was like I'm really scared of you to get up that you're gonna pass out and fall and then I was like I think I'm gonna puke and I started puking in the bag and it was horrible and I kept apologizing I was like I'm so sorry and she's like no that like this happens all the time like it's fine and I was like <clears throat> I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I've never been scared of giving blood. Like, I didn't even give the blood. Like, she didn't even, like, poke the needle yet. And I threw up and everything. I don't know what the hell happened. But it was crazy. And I still, like, can't believe that that happened. So now I have to go back on Monday to give the blood. Because she was like, once someone does that, she's like, I'm not going to try it again. And, like traumatize you even more she's like so but she told me I was probably like dehydrated and like I hadn't ate today because I just you know I like I woke up this morning got ready and left so she's like drink a lot of water on Sunday a lot of water Monday morning eat something in the morning and then come like I have to be there at 10 30 so that was the weirdest experience because I've never like um I've never puked or anything like I wasn't even scared so that is the update on my life um oh yeah the other update is I found my wedding dress so I wanted to be like a surprise like I 
I kind of wanted to like vlog me trying it on, but like I really don't want people to see it. Um, I mean, of course, like my mom and the people that came with me seen it, but I really don't want people to see it until the wedding. The only problem is. So I did find my wedding dress, but there was two that I liked, but there was one that I liked a little more, but, um, it was super big in the top and the way the dress is, it like already kind of like has like cups kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I have super small boobs. So it was like out to here, like with nothing, you know? So they're going to try to call like the bridal company, it's a Bonnie dress if you were wondering, um, and they're going to try to figure it out and like do what they can, but if for some reason they can't, then I'm going to get the second dress that I like the best. So no matter what, like I found my dress, it's just going to be like between those two, but it's super exciting. So now we just have um, to get the bridesmaid dresses. You know, Star has to get her outfit. We still have to pay off the wedding. We still owe a lot on, like, the venue. Like, the chapel. Not really venue, but, like, the chapel and stuff. Because the chapel includes, like, the flowers and, like, the limo and all that is, like, one price. So, we still have to pay that. We owe a lot. Um, but... I mean, it's not, like, anything stressful. Like, I got to decide what I want my bouquet to be like. I already know what the bridesmaids are just going to have um, three white roses. Because all that's extra. And I just don't have the money to go, like, crazy on it. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to, like, tell you guys all this and, like, update you. This is just going to be, like, a car vlog. But yeah, so that's super exciting. I'm just going to wear like sandals, like flats. I'm not going to wear like crazy heels or anything. So it won't be like a big deal to get my shoes. Um, of course, I want to get jewelry and stuff, but I'm probably going to wait till like, you know, before, like a month before or something. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Everything has been like so exciting lately and, um... You know, like, I just got the job a couple of days ago, and then I just got my dress yesterday. Not like I got it, but they're going to order it. <sighs> they're just going to wait um, to hear from the bridal people to see if they can do that to order it. And then if they can do it, they'll order it. And if not, they'll order the other one. But, yeah. But I don't, I don't really think anything else is super exciting going on because, I don't know, I can't handle any more excitement. Um, but yeah, so I'm almost home. Um, hopefully, I think me and Star are going to go swimming today when she gets off work. I hope so. Uh, but it's like 1 o'clock now, so I'm going to try to like clean up a little bit when I get home. Maybe I'll vlog like when we're together tonight and yeah.